Hello everyone, welcome to another easy Excel tutorial. Uh, last time I promised you that I'll bring you more videos and this is my attempt at introducing to you something more in Excel 2013. Excel 2013 is still pretty new. Uh, most people that I know have not upgraded to 2013. If you've used uh, other Excel versions, 2013 shouldn't be that hard. Uh, but today I thought I'd show you one of the key features in Excel, something that I use very often uh, almost every time I use Excel. Uh, it's called the autofill option. It's the feature, autofill feature in Excel. Uh, autofill feature is that little green square dot at the bottom right hand side of the cell. Uh, here's a zoomed in shot of that under cell A1. It's this little green square. Um, in previous versions, in 2010, it's uh, black since the cell highlighted is black but in 2013 it's green. Uh, when you hover your mouse over it the cursor goes from a big fat plus to a skinny black plus. Uh, this tells you that you are hovering over the autofill option and you can click and actually drag it down drag across and it'll autofill for you. Uh, autofill is very useful. You can do many things with it. I will show you some of the things that you can do with autofill and why it's useful. Excel is a very smart program and it recognizes patterns. Uh, for example, one kind of pattern could be that you're incrementing a value by one or by two or by three or by four or you have dates or days or months. So here's an example. Let's say I have a pattern of one and two this tells Excel that it is increasing by one and two by one if I autofill down as you can see that there is a little preview to the right telling you what the number in that cell will be autofilling down as you can see it's increasing by one at a time it saves me time from typing let's say I want the number one to appear over and over again since there is no pattern, the only pattern is one. If I go down, it'll only have one. Let's say I want to increase by two. Excel is smart enough to know that the difference between this is two, and the next number will be six, and eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and so on. The pattern can be any number of things. Um, it recognizes dates as well. So let's say you're working with the month the date January 1st 2014 here you don't exactly need a pattern but if you autofill Excel knows that the next number will be January 2nd January 3rd 4th 5th 6th and so on until the 14th remember that we get these little these little hashtags or uh, pound symbols because the column is too small um, as introduced in my first tutorial to expand the column you can either right click, you can either left click and drag or double click to auto size. Autofill doesn't work just vertically, it also works horizontally. So let's say I have one and two here, I can actually keep going across all the way to eight. Same thing with dates. Since 2014 is coming up. Let's say you want to set up a quick calendar. This is a great way to do it. Let's create a new worksheet at the bottom right here. And let's work with, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's work with months. As I was saying, you can create a new like a mini calendar in Excel. Uh, if you put in the word January and you go across, Excel automatically knows that the next one is going to be February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, so on let's make it all fit now let's say you want to do one two three let's say you want to set up a quick calendar like this this goes up to 13 and then across there you go so this is a quick calendar you have January 1st here you have June 7th etc so if you see what I just did I auto clicked on the whole uh, range of cells here and I auto filled across what this does is it copies the pattern over and over again. Since this 1 through 13, it copies 1 through 13 over and over again. And this is just the beginning of autofill. 
I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and I'll show you that this also works with days so if I have Monday I can either go across as you can see the little preview at the bottom or I can go down Let's see Thursday let's go back to Sunday there we go we set up a quick little days Excel also recognizes abbreviations so if it's MUN it keeps everything in a three letter three letter abbreviation shortcut as you will same thing with the months so Jan to July and again you can do this across as well if I select all of these and I go across as you can see it keeps them the same because Excel thinks that I want to copy these autofill is also great for formulas so it's not just to create patterns just to create small calendars so let's work with formulas a little bit uh, let's practice a little bit of autofill let's create a list of numbers 1 through 10 since we're doing just 1 through 10 1 through 10 is very easy to just put 3 4 5 6 7 8 you know easy typing but let's see let's practice autofill and go all the way up to 10 let's create a new row a new column a new list and go 2 4 all the way to 20 increment by 10 so let's create one of our very first formulas um, it's going to be very simple we're just going to add whatever is in column A plus column B A1 plus B1 in the formula bar you get a little view of what the formula is in cell C2 we can do A2 plus B2 which will give us A6 or we can use autofill here we can see that uh, that there's kind of a relative reference and here we told Excel that it needs to add whatever is in this column to this column on the same row. That's the relative reference. And on this cell, it has to take whatever is in this column, A column A, and column B in that row. But let's get rid of this and let's autofill down. Excel is smart enough to know to keep a relative reference all the way down. So let's see what happens when we let go. 6, 9, 12, 15. Everything is right. Let's see if I put my cursor here we'll see that it's a1 plus b1 that's the original formula if we go down it's a2 plus b2 a3 plus b3 all the way up to a10 plus b10 so Excel is smart enough to keep a relative reference and it worked out very well and all the answers are correct um, relative referencing is one of two types of uh, one of two ways you can reference in Excel uh, I will go into referencing in a future tutorial but for now let's just say that um, Excel is smart enough to know that whatever the pattern of formula of formulation if you will in your original formula which is this plus this carries over to wherever you are on that column so if you're here Excel knows that you need to add this cell and this cell to get this cell it's pretty simple let's do one more formula and I'll show you an even shorter way of doing autofill so let's say I want to take whatever is in C2, multiply by 2. Multiplication symbol is asterisk. So we're doing C1 times 2, which will basically double it. Um, it's easy to click and drag down when you have something like 10 rows or even 100 rows. But if you'll notice, but if you have thousands of rows, you'll notice that Excel has a limited speed. So as you can see, it takes a little bit to go all the way down there. See so if I click and drag. See so if you have let's say 10,000 rows, you don't want to sit there and drag down for minutes. What you can do is you can hover your mouse over the auto click little square and double click and it'll automatically fill down all the way up to the next blank cell. In our case right after 30 is a blank and Excel knows to stop here. This is where the formula stops. It's pretty easy, right? Let's just double click, click and double click. We've worked with double clicking columns before. Double clicking is an easy and even shorter way of doing it. So even if you have a few hundred rows, which will take maybe three or four seconds to scroll down, you can actually autofill and go all the way down without without too much of a too much of an effort. It works with patterns as well. So if I come up here let's say I get rid of all of these and I do an autofill here it'll autofill down up until 14 this is where the next blank is so autofill is useful autofill is something that I believe is a must know in Excel uh, if you want to view my future tutorials I am pretty sure that I will use autofill a lot 
um, when it comes to formulas. Autofill just isn't for patterns for simple formulas such as addition and multiplication. Autofill works with almost anything and everything. Autofill, when I do my um, to, when I do my workshops in person, autofill is something that I kind of force people to memorize, and for the most part, they do memorize it and they're happy with it. So um, there you go. That's all you need to know about autofill for now. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or email me. I try to email everyone back, but I know I've missed a few people. I'm sorry about that. Um, I hope to bring you more Excel tutorials in the future. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net. I'm always trying to improve it. If you have suggestion, suggestions on tutorials on what you want to see, please feel free to send those requests as well. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. So until next time.